Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao and European Union leaders are holding talks in Prague on keeping trade open and preventing climate change. Wen Jiabao has arrived at the capital of the Czech Republic to attend the 11th China-EU summit, which starts on Wednesday. The Chinese Premier is scheduled to meet the President of the Czech Republic, uh, Václav Klaus, and the President of the European Commission, José Manuel Barroso. They are expected to hold in-depth discussions on bilateral ties, as well as on major international and regional issues. The annual summit is the highest political consultative mechanism between China and the EU. The summit was uh, initially scheduled for December 2008, but it was postponed as French President Nicolas Sarkozy decided to meet the Dalai Lama while France uh, was holding the rotating EU presidency. It is hoped that the summit will help to push forward China-EU ties to a new phase of development. For more details on the China-EU summit, let's get the latest from CCTV correspondent Li Chengqing, who is covering the, the meeting in Prague. Hello, Li Chengqing. Hello, Liang Hong. Uh, what are the main topics for the China-EU summit? Uh, economic and trade cooperation will definitely be among the highlights, right? You are absolutely right. The economic issue is on the top of the agenda. As far as we are talking now, that the Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao is now holding a talk with the EU summit, uh, with the EU president and also the Czech president who is now holding the rotating presidency of the EU. Um, it is said that there will be more than five agreements signed in the areas of economic proper, uh, promotion, scientific research and climate change cooperation in the summit. The EU is China's largest trading partner, while China is the second largest of the EU. Trade volume between the two sides grew to 425.58 billion US dollars in the year 2008 an increase of 19.5% 19, 19 over the previous years, according to Chinese customs. The high-level economic and trade dialogue between the EU and China, which was held in Brussels from May the 7th to the 8th, covered trade, investment, and small and medium-sized companies, among the others, which it was regarded as an important preparatory event for the economic and trade part of the summit. The high-level uh, back to you, Liang Hong. Okay, from your vantage point as a reporter in Prague, how would you describe the EU stance toward the summit and also towards Sino-EU relations? Well, um, the European Union Commission President Paroso said during a press release be just before the summit, he said that the European Union will continue open and constructive dialogue with China as both sides are committed to the comprehensive strategic partnership. As we know that this is the 11th summit between China and the EU uh, after being postponed from December in France due to well-known reasons. So this summit is taking place when the global financial crisis has caused damage to the real economy and the AH1N1 influenza is posing a challenge to both China and the EU. So this summit will demonstrate China's attaching, attaching great importance to the China-EU comprehensive, comprehensive strategic partnership, also China's determination and sincerity to join hands with the EU to deal with the global issues. Back to you, Liang Hong. And uh, do you think the European media has any special expectations for the summit? Uh, of course, this summit has aroused wide interest in the European media as well as the Chinese counterparts. We, the CCTV crew, had to queue for more than one and a half hours to get into the media center. As you can see, this interest among the, our colleagues, although we arrived one hour before the accreditation. This, the, the new story of the summit is now on the top story of the local TV news bulletin. And the Euro News channel, which covers the whole of the Europe, um, is now covering the summit live. A lady journalist from the Reuters told me when we were having a talk, uh, she said that this summit is surely a significant mark of the improvement of the relationship between you after the suspension of the summit last December. Back to you. Well, thank you very much, Li Qingqing, reporting from Prague. The Ministry of Commerce has said the EU should recognize China's status as a market economy status and should focus on restrictions on China's high-tech products exports. 
at the second China-EU high-level economic and trade dialogue held early in May. The EU side said it would continue to promote the recognition of China as a full market economy. China's Commerce Minister Chen Deming stressed China does have a market economy, but he argued there is no way China and the EU can adopt the same macroeconomic controls over their economies, since they are at different stages of development with different conditions. He added the growing trade remedy actions against Chinese products have been a major concern for China. And since China is not widely regarded as a market economy, the EU then uses the prices of another country as its benchmark in deciding whether China is dumping products and by how much. Premier Wen Jiabao and the European Union leaders are holding talks in Prague on keeping trade open and preventing climate change. Wen Jiabao has arrived at the capital of the Czech Republic to attend the 11th China-EU summit, which starts on Wednesday. The Chinese Premier is scheduled to meet the President of the Czech Republic, Vetlav Klaus, and the President of the European Commission, Jose Manuel Barroso. They are expected to hold in-depth discussions on bilateral ties, as well as on major international and regional issues. The annual summit is the highest political consultative mechanism between China and the EU. The summit was initially scheduled for December 2008, but it was postponed as French President Nicolas Sarkozy decided to meet the Dalai Lama while France was holding the rotating EU presidency. It is hoped that the summit will help push forward China-EU ties to a new phase of development. And our correspondent Li Qingqing is in Prague to give us more details on the China-EU summit. The China-EU summit had been concluded after two hours' talk between Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao and EU leaders, namely the EU Commission President Joseph Barroso, President of Czech Republic, uh, Václav Klaus, whose country holds the rotating EU presidency. The leaders of the two sides had exchanged views on bilateral relations and major international, international and regional issues of common concern. After meeting, Premier Wen Jiabao held a press conference with President Cross and the EU Commission President Barroso. Barroso. During the press conference, Premier Wen said that this is a fruitful summit which has promoted mutual trust, cooperation and strengthened ties between the two sides. Premier Wen said that it's his second trip to it's his Premier Wen said that it's his second trip to Europe in five months. He would go directly back to Beijing after the summit, and the round trip would take twenty hours. However, he came to Prague this time with sincerity, responsibility and confidence. Premier Wen said China is ready to work with the EU to further promote mutual investments, enhance cooperation in small and medium-sized enterprises, trade facilitation, science and technology, transportation and post, in an attempt to fight all forms of trade and investment protectionism. He expressed the hope that the EU would loosen control over export restrictions on high-tech products on high-tech products and nurture new growth potential in economic and trade cooperation in order to further promote China-EU trade. When also asked the EU to recognize China's market, market economy status and to lift its arm embargo, Premier Wen also promised that China would soon send another buying mission to Europe to increase the import from Europe. And Premier Wen also called on the EU to respect the principle of non-interference in internal affairs, respect the core respect of each other, and handle the sensitive issues wisely. The China-EU summit will be held again at the end of this year in Beijing. Premier, Premier Wen Jiabao has already left Prague for Beijing.